Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. So right now I'm just prepping to go for a tab and I thought I would take you along with me. So this is gonna be like a tab with me and also I'm gonna show you how I like pack my bag for a tab. There's quite like a specific way I like to do it and I find that's comfortable and then I'm gonna share some tabbing tips I suppose and then I'm gonna show you my tabbing route and like what type of tabs I'm doing at the moment preparing for the rest of my basic training. So I'm finally getting around to make this video, I, I've been meaning to make this video for about six months so finally getting around to doing it. So the tabs I'm doing at the moment are in prep for the rest of my basic training in the army and we have a training program which is called the PD pathway, the physical development pathway which is basically the reservists PT program you do from home to prep and build you up in between courses. So I'm doing that at the moment and I sort of tweak what the PD pathway says. I'll put on screen, this is the tab that I'm supposed to do today. And then I'll put here what I'm actually gonna do. So you can kind of see the differences between um, what <laughs> they want us to do and what I'm gonna do. Essentially, I like to build my tabs and mimic them around the role fitness test or the annual fitness test, I can't think of what it's called. So the structure of that in the test is four kilometer walk with 20 kilos, you have 50 minutes to do it. So it's essentially 12 and a half minutes a, key, a K to do. And then you drop five kilos and you do a 2K best effort run. And for my cat badge, I think you have 16 minutes, but I'm aiming to do like better than that. So I like to structure my tabs around that. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a 4K like walk. My walking pace is about, eight and a half minutes okay just generally like my like nice this this is sort of a representation of how i walk uh yeah so it's quite quick anyway so normally my 4k time is anything from like 33 minutes to 38 minutes for the 4k effort and then obviously i keep the weight on because i'm cutting about london i can't drop 5k just in the middle of the street and then i just do the 2k effort anyway my times at the moment are like 12 35 12 40. para's time is under 12 30 and i'm so close but i just can't quite get there so it's so annoying and, uh, yeah then i do a 4k effort which normally takes me home <laughs> so uh and then i aim to do the 4k effort quicker than I did the first 4k effort and it normally is just because you're so used to like the run speed that you naturally are pushing faster. So that's sort of how I do it. it ends up being 10k so it's about six miles so it's not too far uh, but it's way further than what you do in the test so it means that my shoulders are getting used to carrying the weight for a bit longer. So the weights in the PD pathway are 10 kilos, 15 kilos, although I play around with more of the higher end weights. I don't go to 20 kilos because I just know that's an injury waiting to happen if I did that every week but I normally stick to like 15. Today I wanna do 17. I've never gone over 15 really. Uh, I'm trying to get as close to 20 as possible. And then like next week I'll drop down to like 10, 11, give myself a little bit of a break and then go back up to like 16, 17 and then go back down and then do 20 probably is what I'm planning to do over the next few weeks. So that's the plan. Now I wanna show you how I pack my day sack, burger, whatever you wanna call it, my rucksack. So the best advice I got and will impart is when it comes to tabbing, you want the bag as high up as possible and you want the weight as high up as possible in the bag. So this is the bag that I use. It's literally just sports direct, rucksack so in order to have the weight situated how i like it and properly essentially is i just stuff inside the bag so in here at the moment there's like three towels i'm probably gonna put a hoodie then i'm gonna put my weighted vest and then i also use like just dumbbell discs although you don't really want to use stuff like this or like weights generally the denser the weight the more it's just gonna hurt when you're doing it. So you wanna find stuff that like weighs sort of the same amount, but is like a lightweight. I, I know that doesn't probably make much sense, but what I mean is like, you're better off having three, four kilos of like jumpers than a three kilo weight. It feels better when you're tabbing and it's also, these are great to like pad shit with in your bag. And it's also like extra weight. You think these are light, but they do add up. And also I use a hydro pack rather than water bottle. So this is, I think two, three liters. So it's so like two, three kilos. It is kind of a nightmare. I think if I didn't have a weighted vest, I'd have to like go in the cupboards and use random stuff. It's funny, like when I was at home and I went for a tab, when was it, like about a month ago, I was literally there with like washing powder and like tins of beans and like dog food cans, just trying to like get the weight up. So like I empathize and relate to anybody out there who doesn't have like actual weights at home. And now 
we weigh. Okay, so without the bag, this is what we weigh. And then with the bag, not enough. <laughs> right, we're like three kilos short, that's not good. Take two. What's that? Okay, that's 16 and a half. This is how it looks. It's high up on the back. It's literally at the end of the strap, so it will not go higher. But as you can see, it's pretty dense. Like, it doesn't really like move around. So when you're running, it's not like swinging around because the more it moves, the more you have to control it with your core and it puts more pressure into your core. So you want it to be as sturdy and still as possible. Now I am going to warm up and we're gonna go. So, mile one by the river. It's actually really sunny today, didn't expect it. So it's actually nice to be out for a good hour in this. Okay, 2K, best effort. I'm fucking dying. So by the river, it's off like a shuffle. Six thirty, seven minutes, okay. Well, this was not planned. My hydro just literally popped as I was running. I've got 300 meters left of that 2K. So yeah, that's not ideal. Um, I've still got like 5K to go. My bag, I don't think I can show you my bag. Can I? Well, it's wet. <laughs> um, all my three liters of water is now on the floor, sloshing in my backpack and also dripping down my spine. So that's, that's not fun, it's not ideal but we're gonna be a couple of K lighter, at least on the way back. I'm actually surprised at that pot because I've had my hydro like six years. Maybe that's probably why it popped, but I've had it years and tabbed years with it and it's never let me down. And today I just heard a pop as I was running then. Anyway, we move. I can't believe that happened. I'm just having that type of day, clearly. Oh well. Okay, so that's the 2K best effort done. So we did it in 13 minutes, 10 seconds. Admittedly, we had a slight break in the middle, uh, an interlude, if you will, because you know the situation. And then obviously the last 300 meters or whatever were 15 and a half kilos rather than 17, 18. But 17, 18 is more than I'll ever have to do anyway on the test. So we can, if we can still do it in 13 minutes, laughing basically so i feel really good about that so we're just on the walk now going home as you can see thames in the background 3k i think 2k two and a half k so yeah it's gonna be four but considering i'm absolutely piss wrapped i'm gonna cut a little bit short <laughs> Okay, so I'm back now. Somehow have blisters sort of, even though I had blister plasters on. I don't know what it is. I double socked, blister plastered. I did Vaseline and my boots are starting to give me blisters. They've been fine for eight months. And now I get blisters. I don't really understand what that's about. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, I'll put the stats here for what I did on the tab. It was 8K in the end because of the whole hydro situation. That was not fun. Uh, and I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna come home uh, because it's Tuesday and I've got to go into battalion anyway later. So busy day. As I was saying earlier, like 13 minutes, 10 seconds for the 2K effort. Like I'm pretty chuffed with that as well. For me, the, the 2K is the thing that I am not concerned of, but like that's the thing that I'm focusing on because walking 4K at a 12 minute 30K pace, like that's all you need to do to pass. To me, that's extremely doable. If anything, it's really easy. So I'm just focusing on getting a really good time for the 2K because I think if your head's not in it, if you were to walk the 2K, like you wouldn't pass it. So you do need to run it. So uh, it's just focusing on that and getting a good time. But I said 13 minutes, I want sub 12, 30, ideally sub 12, because then you're like, in the para times, <laughs> um, even though I'm obviously not going for para, uh, not even going for infantry. So it, it'll just be nice though to be like, that's the highest score you need. So I'm kind of aiming for the highest score. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you have any questions about tabbing, drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. I'll see you guys in the next video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.